हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू द अनदर सेशन ऑफ कोलेबरेटिव लर्निंग विद डॉक्टर भूषण भगत सर एज डेंटल स्टूडेंट्स वी आर वेल वर्स दैट वी हैव टू गिव लोकल एनेस्थेशिया बिफोर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग एनी टूथ सो बिफोर एक्सट्रैक्शन वी नीड टू बी वेल ओरिएंटेड विद द पॉसिबल कॉम्प्लिकेशन सो टुडे हियर आई एम टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड लर्निंग फॉर सिस्टमिक कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ लोकल एनेस्थेशिया विच इज गाइडेड बाय डॉक्टर भूषण भगत सर केस वन patient had an extraction of tooth 3 days ago but now patient is complaining about minor rash and smooth elevated patches on skin what is the possible complication answer is allergy that is hypersensitivity so what is allergy allergy is a hypersensitive state acquired through exposure to a particular allergen pre exposure to which produces a heightened capacity to react predisposing factors for allergy are allergens in local anesthesia which are esters sodium bisulfite or meta bisulfite and methyl paraben allergy signs and symptoms include dermatological reactions in which urticaria wheels pruritus angioedema minor rash are present in respiratory reactions respiratory distress dyspnea anxiety sinusitis or flushing wheezing use of accessory muscles and laryngeal edema coming to the management of skin reactions there are two types of skin reactions delayed skin reactions and immediate skin reactions we should always follow pabc rule that is position airway breathing and circulation in delayed skin reactions after following pabc we should give oral histamine blocker and 50 mg diphenhydramine then keep the patient under observation for one hour summon medical assistance if necessary and do not let the patient leave unescorted in immediate skin reactions after following pabc administer epinephrine 0.3 mg intramuscularly or subcutaneously then administer intramuscular histamine blocker and obtain medical consultation if necessary and observe the patient for one hour and prescribe antihistamine for 3 days case 2 patient was given superior alveolar nerve block within few minutes patient felt dyspnea and respiratory distress with tightness in the chest what is the comp- possible complication answer is anaphylaxis that is type 1 hypersensitivity reaction anaphylaxis the most dramatic and acutely life threatening allergic reaction is generalized anaphylaxis clinical death can occur within a few minutes signs and symptoms occur as skin reactions respiratory reactions cvs cns and gastrointestinal these are signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis in airway there is coughing shortness of breath wheezing chest pain or tightness tightening of throat difficulty in swallowing in skin there are high swelling itchiness widespread redness and warmth in cvs um there is faint pale or blue color dizziness weak pulse shock loss of consciousness are present in cns anxiety confusion headache feeling that something about to happen and in git nausea vomiting diarrhea stomach pain or cramps may occur let's see the management of anaphylaxis in which signs of allergy are present we should first recognize the problem then discontinue dental treatment then active activate the office emergency team then position the patient with uh, with feet elevated slightly then assess the uh, assess and perform basic life support as needed in definitive management activate emergency medical service then administer epinephrine intramuscular or iv then administer oxygen then monitor vital signs and give additional drug therapy like histamine blocker or corticosteroids management of anaphylaxis with no signs of allergy first recognize the problem and discontinue dental treatment activate the office emergency team then position patient supine with feet elevated slightly then assess and perform basic life support as needed uh, then in definitive management activate the emergency medical service administer oxygen monitor vital signs and stabilization and support of the patient case 3 after giving repeated nerve blocks to the patient with liver cirrhosis within 5 to 10 minutes 
patient started having tremors and feeling of confusion and dizziness. What is the possible complication? Answer is overdose. So what is overdose? A drug overdose reaction has been defined as those clinical signs and symptoms that result from an overly high blood levels of drugs in various target organs and tissues. Causes include inadvertent IV injection, usually coupled with too rapid deposition of the solution, too large total volume, rapid absorption into the bloodstream, slow elimination of drug, unusually slow biotransformation. Clinical manifestation in minimal to moderate overdose. In science, there is talkativeness, stutter, excitability, elevated BP, respiratory rate, nausea, vomiting, sweating, muscular twitching or tremors, and euphoria. In symptoms, there is restlessness, visual disturbance, nervousness, numbness, metallic taste, lightheaded or dizziness, drowsy and disorientation. In moderate to high overdose, there is generalized tonic-clonic seizure activity, which is followed by generalized CNS depression, depressed BP or heart rate, and depressed respiratory rate. Signs of lidocaine toxicity. You can remember it as SAMS. Yes for slurred or difficult speech. A for altered central nervous system. M for muscle twitching. Yes for seizures. Local anesthetic predisposing factors. Presence of one or more of these factors predisposes the patient into, into the development of overdose. Patient factors include age, weight, other drugs, sex, presence of disease, genetics, mental attitude, and environment. In drug factors, there is vasoactivity, concentration, dose, route of administration, rate of injection, vasculature of injection site, and presence of vasoconstrictors. Maximum dose should be based on age of the patient, physical status of the patient, and weight of the patient. Management of overdose due to local anesthetic. We should manage according to the type of reaction. So there are three types of reaction. Mild reaction, slow onset, severe reaction, rapid onset, and severe reaction, slow onset. Mild reaction, uh, slow onset occurs due to the rapid absorption and too large total volume. In which we first reassure the patient, administer oxygen, monitor vital signs, consider IV anticonvulsants, allow recovery or get medical help, get medical consultation, especially if possibility of metabolic or renal dysfunction. Severe reaction rapid onset. It includes the loss of consciousness with or without the convulsions. The probable cause is the intravascular injection. Here, we should first stop all the treatment, place patient in supinor position with feet up, establish airway if convulsions, protect the patient, summon emergency medical help, and consider anticonvulsal drug and vasopressors. Severe reaction, slow onset. It is maybe due to the abnormal biotransformation and renal dysfunction. Here, we should first stop all treatment, establish airway, give oxygen, administer anticonvulsion, summon emergency medical help, Consider vasopressors and get medical consultation, especially if possibility of metabolic or renal dysfunction. Case 4. A student in dental practice with fear and stress was asking his friend to help in giving nerve block to the patient. While getting an injection of local anesthesia, patient was trying to stop his breathing and started sweating profusely and then suddenly lost his consciousness. What is the complication in this case? Answer is syncope. Syncope. Temporary loss of consciousness caused by fall in blood pressure. Causes are psychogenic factors and non-psychogenic factors. Psychogenic factors include fright and anxiety, emotional stress, pain of sudden and unexpected nature. Non-psychogenic factors include injection of yellow into artery, exhaustion, poor physical condition, hunger or starvation, and sitting in upright position or standing for prolonged period. Clinical manifestation in pre-syncope. In pre-syncope, there are two, two stages, early stage and late stage. In early stage, there is feeling of warm, pale skin, heavy perspiration, restlessness, nausea, and tachycardia. In late stage, there is pupillary dilatation, hypernia, coldness in hands and feet, hypertension, dizziness, and loss of consciousness. In syncope, Irregular breathing, dilatation of pupils, convulsions, bradycardia, low blood pressure, weakness, thready pulse, and loss of consciousness. Post-syncope. 
in the post syncope phase patient may exhibit pallor nausea weakness and sweating which may last for few minutes to few hours coming to the management of syncope assess consciousness then activate the office emergency team position patient supine feet supine with feet elevated slightly then assess circulation assess an open airway assess airway patency and breathing and then in definitive care administer oxygen monitor vital signs perform additional procedures like administer aromatic ammonia vaporol administer sugar for example orange juice or non diet soft drinks then administer atropine in bradycardia persist and do not panic in post syncopal recovery postpone further dental treatment and determine the precipitating factors in delayed recovery activate emergency medical services and call 911 let's see the drug actions whenever any drug is administered two types of action may be observed that is desirable actions or undesirable actions desirable actions are usually beneficial while undesirable actions are additional general principles of drug actions first principle no drug exerts a single action so every drug has many actions that is desirable and undesirable for example if we give a right drug in right dose by a right route to the right patient at right time for the right reason and that drug does not produce any undesirable effect this is ideal condition but it is very rare condition second principle no any useful drug is devoid of toxicity that means no any drug is completely safe or it is completely harmful third principle potential toxicity of drug rest in the hands of user so doctor must ask the patient about medical and drug history as we all know prevention is better than cure so let's see the prevention of systemic complication prior to the treatment complete review of medical status in, including vital signs anxiety fear should be assessed and managed before administer administering anesthetic these are this is a medical alert uh, bracelet which provides the vital medical information about the patients administration of anesthetic uh, by following these points we can reduce the chances of complications uh, first place the patient supine or semi supine position dry site apply topical anesthetic before a minute select appropriate drug for treatment use vasoconstrictor unless contraindicated inject slowly at the rate of 60 second for 1.8 ml of local anesthesia calculate maximum safe dose before treatment begins continuously observe and never leave the patient alone after injection use only aspirating syringe aspirate in two planes before injecting and use sharp disposable needles of adequate diameter and length these are the references for the presentation thank you